Okay, how, how did you find out? I'm, I, I'm, I'm, what kind of dumb question is that? What do you mean by how did I find out? We dated for two years. We've been married for three years and I have no idea that you can never father a child. Richard! Do you know what I had to go through in the hands of your mother and your lousy sisters? But I have always protected you the best way I could. You should have at least told me the truth. I was scared. Okay, I, I, I didn't know what your reaction would be. I, and I was trying to solve it so that I can surprise you. For three years. Three years I felt something was wrong with me and you never said a word. How can you keep such an important secret away from me, Richard? Listen. Please. Okay? I, you I, lied to me. We, we, we could ad adopt a month or two and, and be family again. You've been suggesting that. And I'm always giving you an answer and I'm still saying the same thing, Richard. I'm repeating the same thing to you. I don't want to carry somebody else's child. I want to carry my child in my room. Not someone else's child. Okay, babe. Then, 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 just, just stay with me. Let's explore more options. I'm sure there must be a way out of this. This, this can't be it. Please. Options that never worked, Richard. I can't be with a man that can't give me a child. I want a family. Richard, I can't do this. Please don't leave me. Please, please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. You know I love you. And I can do anything for you. Anything at all. Just, just don't let me be alone in this room. I need you. I can't do this, Richard. I need some time. I need some space. I need time to think. Okay. You, you, you can take some time to think, but please, babe. Don't leave me. Please. Please, babe. Uh, babe. Okay, what about... Babe, what about if, if we can have some... How could you allow such a thing to happen again? Yeah? How can you allow it to happen? Are you so dumb that you cannot use protection at your age? Look, this is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. Like he likes to use protection. He doesn't like to use protection, in case you don't know. And each time I try to make him, he will refuse. Whenever this happens, you all make it look like it's my fault and not his. Shut, shut up, my dear. What's your problem? Are you a child? Eh? I don't understand yourself. Eh? Because I don't use protection. See, I am not ready to father any child. Eh? Uh -huh. And even if I want to, it's not with somebody like you. But you can have sex with me. Will you shut up your mouth? Ah? Uh -huh. Look, you should be grateful for everything we have been doing, doing for you all these years. Are you paying us? Eh, Emily, you will have to abort that pregnancy. Eh? What did you just say? I am not going to have another abortion. The last one I did almost cost my life. You heard what the doctor said. Mm? You know what the doctor said? Mm. See, you did just five. Just five abortion. I know people have done 11 and nothing happened to them. So my brain will do the abortion. And I even know someone that has done double of yeah, that. Bless you. That's 22. What is abortion? Abortion is like menstruation now. Yes. When you, when you have men men menstruation, you lose blood. When you have abortion, you lose blood. It's nothing. Ah. Uh -huh. And if you see the person say, you won't, you wouldn't know she did anything. Living her life. Um, young woman, I'm taking you to another hospital and you will do that abortion. I don't even know what is wrong with you. What kind of body do you have? Huh? Every now and then I'm pregnant. You just had abortion two, two months ago. Now you're pregnant. Are you big that gets pregnant at will? Look, we don't, we don't have, we, can, we cannot, we cannot uh, take care of a child. Oh. You are, you, are, you are already a burden to us. We are managing to feed you. You want to add pregnancy. You are such an ingrate. Now, please. Please don't make me do this. Tony, please, I beg you. I may lose my life. Please. <laughs> Stop being dramatic, young woman. You will do the <laughs> abortion. Do you know? Do you know it's very difficult to father a child now, eh? Do you know? Well, you do the abortion, no? You will do it. What, what does she know? Eh? Does she know that life is, life is difficult? Things are hard if you don't know. Things are hard to eat is a problem because you are in this house. We are feeding you. You eat bong 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 every time. You don't know how difficult it is. Do you know how much is a painter of garden in the market? Mm -mm. 
Eh? Do you know how much the printer of rice in the market? Mm -mm. You are looking at me. Eh? You want to add pregnancy. You are such an ingrate. You are such an ingrate. Look, don't, don't, don't allow your, your, your emotions to be clouded your sense of reasoning. Every time, wham. Every time, wham. Every time, wham. Ah, ah. I hope you got my letter. Yes, I got a oh. letter. Divorce letter. That was fast. That's why I used Olisa and Associates. They're good at what they do. Babe. We agreed that you will think about it. Yes, we did. And I've thoughts about it and my decision is clear. I want a divorce and that's final. <laughs> and I also take 50% of every of your assets and cash. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the law. Of course, we're legally married and in the case of divorce, I get to take half of everything you own. It's clear you have no idea what the law says. <laughs> really? See you in court then. Jane, please. Can we not do this? We promised ourselves for better, for worse, in presence of God, the entire church, and our friends and family. Let's not go that route, please. Yes, we did, and how many of them are aware that you can father a child? Hmm? I want you to be totally honest with me, Richard. Is your inability to father a child the source of your wealth? What are you saying? <laughs> Don't be dramatic, Richard. I need to know so when I get my half, I will know where to go clean it. Jane, please. We can still walk this out. Richard, it's nothing personal. Please, I need you to sign the document. See you. Good day, sir. Are you looking for someone? Yes, sir. I I'm looking for the owner of this house. The owner of this house or this one? This one, sir. Do you know him? Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. Okay, so, so what do you want? Sir, I need a job. I'm looking for the owner so he can employ me. Or anything, or recommend me. I, 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 I can, I can clean. I can cook. I can cut grass. I you can... are pregnant and cut grass for an estate like this. How? Sir, my pregnancy is the more reason I'm doing this. I, I need, I need the money so I can take care of myself and my unborn child. Please, sir, please help me. Well, I, 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 I don't know.
Just come in. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. So you were saying? Um, a few months ago, the father of my unborn child died in a ghastly motor accident. I'm so sorry. As if that's not devastating enough. My mother, my mother who was the one taking care of me and the child, has been duped of all her life savings. Now she she can barely even take care of herself, let alone me and my child. It is sad you have to go through all that you went through, especially with your situation. But honestly, I I, I don't need a domestic staff. I have people who come here to do all that you wish to do for me. Sir, please. I need this job. Any job at all to take care of myself. I can't even pretend like I'm not desperate. I am very desperate. Please, sir, help me. Help me. At least for the sake of this child. I, I don't want to lose the father and the baby. Please, sir, help me. Honestly, I don't. I need a domestic staff. But what kind of a man will I be if if I can help and decide not to? Okay, so uh, I would um, I'd employ you as my cook. Sir, mm. mm -mm, mm -mm, you're pregnant, please. Please. Thank you so much, sir. Right. Giving me hope when I needed it the most. Truly, there are angels among men. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. I promise I will not let you down. I appreciate this. Okay. Thank you. Okay, well, let's see. I'll start you up with um, start you up with a salary of hundred thousand naira. Eh? And um, I will take care of the antenatal bills and all the other things concerning your baby. Is that okay? You're welcome. Thank you. Just, um, let me drop the coffee sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I will not let you down. I promise. Thank you so much.
Sir, I I saw an alert of fifty thousand naira. Oh yeah. Is there anything you want me to buy for the house? No, 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 no. It's for you. Um, so I'm confused. It's barely a week I started working here and you already gave me half of my salary. Oh no, it's um it's not part of your salary. Okay, what is it for then? <laughs> it's just my little way of saying thank you and that I see the good work you do around him. Just like that? <laughs> wow, thank you so much, sir. Oh, you're welcome. So, I'll be going out for a walk. I know before I return, you must have gone. So, um, see you tomorrow. Thank you so much, sir. You're thank welcome. you. <laughs> Hello? I am. Why? Okay, send the money and the list of the things you want me to buy. What makes you think I have money? Hmm? Send the list. So that was how, out of nowhere, she served me a divorce paper. <laughs> she came asking for 50% of my properties. Something she accused me of getting through fetishism. Can you imagine how twist mind think? That's a lot. Did you try to get help? Tried. I was duped millions just trying to get help. It's so sad. I'm yeah. so sorry you had to go through all that. I wish there was something I could do. I know. I know that if you could do something, you will. Of course. There's something I would like you to do for me. Okay, what is it? Anything. I want you to allow me to be the father of your unborn child. <laughs> Sir. You don't have to ask. You are already a father to my child. And the moment I bet this child, you will be the godfather. You don't understand. I want people to think that I am actually the biological father of this child. What? Yes. Please, I need you to do this for me. It, it took me a lot of courage to suggest this, just like it took me a lot of courage to tell you that I am infertile. But, sir, uh, how would you explain to the world that you got your maid pregnant? Nobody knows what you do for me, so we can change that narrative. How? Marry me. What? Please, please. We can do this. Please. you to stop doing this okay let me take care of things here please Richard if you continue like this I will get fat and lazy you know my condition I need to move around have you forgotten how I started living here in the first place we have agreed that we should stop talking about that okay and please just let me take care of you and the baby while you focus on taking care of yourself 
that's just you. That should be your job. Nothing you else. can't do everything for me. I, I can am. handle myself. You are very, very important to me. And this precious baby needs to be comfortable and safe. So please do not, do not do anything that will stress you. I don't know much about anything, but I am very sure that stress can cause miscarriage. It, it's okay. It's okay. I know it is tough for you, but everything will be fine. You, you don't know what I'm dealing with. But I do. All right, I do. I know what it means for you to be expecting this bundle of joy with someone and all of a sudden they are no more. I, and I, listen, everything will be fine. I don't think I can handle it. Shh, you can. All right. And I'll be here to provide safety and comfort. And I'll make sure that you do not lack anything, anything at all. Okay? Hey, listen, you can do this. Okay? You can. And I will never leave your side. Never. I know that and I have no doubt that you're going to make a wonderful father. And I should be the one thanking you for giving me the privilege to have experience what it means to be a father and a husband to a good woman. Hmm? And together we'll make a beautiful family. Yes, we will. Now, I do not want you to take any chores in this house. Seriously, just leave that to me. Hmm? Just take care of yourself. That's your chores from now on. Now sit. Sit. Easy. Easy. Mm -hmm. You see, when I take care of you, I am also taking care of the child. So like I said, the focus is you. Just take care of you, and then I'll take care of everything else. Okay. Do you want anything? Maybe fruits. Fruit coming. <laughs> Let me get it for you. Thank you. Don't do anything. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> what? Wake up. A breakfast in bed treat. Oh my God. <laughs> breakfast in bed? Here you go. This is the first time anyone is giving me breakfast in bed. Why? I mean... No, 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 no. You deserve it and even more. Oh, thank you. Okay? All right. I promise you from today, I'll make sure you not only have breakfast in bed, but you also feel loved and cherished. Yes. Thank you for making me feel loved and special. You are a queen. Any queen is carrying and should be treated such. You always know how to use words to make my heart melt. But I just speak my mind. That's all. What is it? Oh. There's, there's something I would like to discuss with you. It's very important. Hmm. By the look on your face yesterday night and now, it signifies that it is very important. Okay, however important it is, we have to eat and sever this breakfast first and then we can talk about it. After all, we have all the time to ourselves. 
<laughs> Let me get you something else. I won't tell you. <laughs> Don't ask. Stop overthinking this thing now, eh? Stop overthinking it. Mama, am I the only one seeing this thing? Emily, Emily is acting strange. See, I will not be surprised one day he will turn, she will turn her back on us. I will not be surprised. For where? Which Emily? This one I know, the one I raised. Hmm? Let her try it now. Look, Emily cannot try any, any nonsense. She can't betray us. She's so she's too scared to try any nonsense. Ah, uh, she knows me now. She knows what I'm capable of. Look at it this way now. She's enjoying the husband's world. They are very comfortable together. But, but is, they enjoy their lifestyle now. But that's exactly what we want. In fact, that's what we need. We need him to be overly comfortable with Emily. That will make him vulnerable. Then we can put him in the position we want then strike. Hmm. Ah, ah. As for hmm. Emily, Emily cannot underestimate the control we have over her. She knows we have enough information to ruin her, so she won't try any nonsense with me. And that Richard said, now, wow. What's even wrong with him? Why is he treating us like this? See, he believes you are the mother. And I'm the elder brother. Yet he's not even doing anything. He's not taking care of us. He's not treating us well. Patience, my son. Patience is a virtue. Forget everything we are going through right now. We are eating crumbs, yes. But what you should do now is to pray. Let Emily just have a safe delivery. By the time Emily delivers a bouncing baby boy, then we can now move in. We will not just move in to share in the table. We will actually own the table. Mama, owning the table when? I'm thinking we start owning the table now. Let's start eating for you. I'm just, see, I feel we are not maximizing our opportunity. My son, just, just spoke like a child. Look, I know what I'm doing. We, see, when we feed our goats, it's not because we have enough to throw around. It's just because you want the goat to feed well in order to have enough meat so that on the day of devouring, we'll have enough to devour. Mm. Don't worry, I have my plans. I'm in charge. That's why they call me Linda. Linda the leader. Yeah, lead us well. Of course I will. I can't fold your hand. Yeah. Relax. Everything is under control. Eh? Yeah. If he tries nonsense, I go walk out for his head. So, go and sleep. So? So? Did you enjoy it? <laughs> Come on, you watched me devour this meal. So, would I eat like that if the food wasn't amazing? So it was amazing then. Super amazing, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now that is out of the way, what is so important that you wanted us to talk about? Um, <clears throat> Richard. Yeah. There's something you need to know. Okay. Something I need to tell you. It, it has, it has to do with the way I found you. Who is that? Don't people sleep? What is time? Who is, who is knocking by this time? Uh, after nine. Should I check? No, 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 no. Don't worry. I'll go and check who that is and um, okay. I don't know what's wrong with people. Just... All right, let me take this. All that thoughts. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes, I'm coming. I need to tell him. I need to tell him the truth. Richard is such a sweetheart and he has been so good to me. I can't continue to lie and manipulate him. He deserves to know the truth. God, please. Please don't make it this hard. Please. Hmm. Uh, 
it was all a deceit. It was all a deceit and manipulation, and I was stupid enough to think it was real. Richard, I understand your frustration, okay? It's sad that it had happened, but come on. You've held on to this grudge for a long time now. It's been, what, five years? And if I is like a brother now, so it's time to move on and forgive. I will never forgive if I hate Chima. Even if he is my father, I will not forgive him. Is, is, he, is he mad to deceive me into investing in a business he knew would fail? I can never trust anybody who plays with my wealth and business. I, 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 I just, I, I messed up. I should have arrested him and locked him up when I had a chance. I understand your anger, okay? But remember, he was in a terrible situation and he made a mistake and he admits it. Look, we're, we're more like childhood friends now. Look, and forgiveness can heal the old wounds. Maybe I do not want to heal. Maybe I want to hold onto that grudge and see him suffer. Maybe I want to hold on to it till I get my vengeance. He is not getting any forgiveness from me. He crossed the line. I need you to please convey my apologies to your husband, okay? I totally understand his outburst. He despised the manipulation and the betrayal. And yeah, it was nice seeing you again. And the meal, <laughs> amazing as always. Thank you. And I hope that whatever this issue is gets resolved soon. <laughs> I hope so too. I hope so too. Well, you just take care of yourself, okay? Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Take care of yourself, please. Uh, please, come and sit down. Let's talk. Uh... Is it? You have been awfully quiet through the day and I would not even pretend like I don't know what happened. I'm sorry about my actions. Uh, well, I, after what happened, I didn't know how to approach you because I, I don't want to upset you any further. I'm sorry I made you feel that way. It's just that, it's just that I hate being taken advantage of. It's, it's fine. Eh? It doesn't concern you. Well, um, you know, we humans, we are not perfect. Sometimes we do despicable things to one another. But most times it's under some circumstances that we can't even control. But I don't think being bitter about it is the way forward. It's, it's only going to make you feel bad and... I will not let go what if I did to me. Okay, I hate it when I'm being taken advantage of, when I'm, when, I'm, when I'm being manipulated. It's about principles. Okay? I, I understand, okay? But forgiving and letting go doesn't mean you allow it to happen to you again or condone the actions. It means you want peace of mind for your own good so it doesn't poison you so... You don't understand it. I have learned through experience that people who are deceptive, they never change. 
that will always exploit your loyalty and kindness. Do not allow them to take ad advantage of you or get you in any way. Do you understand? Good. So you said you wanted to talk to me about something. Mm -hmm. I did. Yes, you said it was very important, the thing you, we were about to discuss before Chema came in. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. you remembered. <laughs> yes, so what is it? Uh, it's nothing important, really. Uh, I guess no, I it's, just... It's, it's, it was very important. You, from the look on your face, it was something that you didn't even want to eat because of. Uh, uh, no, I don't. Uh, well, um, it's not important. Come on, if if it was that important, I would have said it since, right? I guess I just wanted you to maybe buy me something, maybe some fruits. But I, I don't want to eat anymore. It's fine. I just, it's not important at all. Forget it. Oh, really. All I'm saying is, I can't continue with this game anymore. I'm no longer comfortable with it, so let's just end this manipulation once and for all. Hmm. Hmm. People of the world, if only men were God. Anyway, you are looking beautiful, my dear darling Emily. Emily Beke, you are looking beautiful. Eh, but you see, you know what they say, there's no need to cry when the head is already off. And you don't stop because you're tired. You stop because you're done. But you see, in this case, we are not done yet. So, you are not stopping. What is your problem? Mm -hmm. So, you, you want to back out now? After we are this close to ripping our foot, eh? Something we have, we have worked so hard for. What's mm -hmm. your problem? Why do you want to quit? But for how long? For how long are you going to continue milking this poor man? For how long? See, like I said, I'm not comfortable with it. I thought I could go on with it, but it's not going to happen. I have seen how he reacts to deceit and manipulation. I don't want to see him angry at all. Please, I don't want to be a part of this. Hmm? You have seen how he reacts to this deceit. So this one we are doing is not deceit. Hmm? After I pushed you to greatness, I pushed you to enjoyment. Hmm? You are now calling me a betrayer. Eh? Look, let me tell you, nobody cares about Richard's happiness. His happiness is none of my business. Do you hear me? It's none of my business. We've done too much already for that young man. We've given him a family and a sense of belonging. We've added too much joy to him. What else do you want? Joy that will eventually be snatched away from him. Richard is such a good man. He doesn't deserve this. Emily, listen. Betria will not end well for you. It will not end well for you, trust me. Considering this is your situation, don't try me. It will not end well for you. <laughs> Wait, is, is, this, is, this, is this where we are now? Is this what is going on now? You're threatening and warning me in my condition? Yeah. Listen to me. This is all game, and we are together in it. You can't come now and, 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 and start blackmailing us. Do you understand me? We are together in this game, and in fact, we, we own the cards. All of the cards is in our hands, in fact, in my hand. What is your problem? Let me tell you. I don't know what he has given to you. I don't know whether it's too much fried egg you've started eating there. Have you, or is it burger? Or shawarma, or, 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 or parfait they are giving you that is not turning your head. Let me tell you, your emotions will lead you nowhere. It will lead you nowhere. For your own good, be focused. Let your eyes be on the prize. Are you hearing me? If you try any nonsense, you will not like yourself. Oh. Okay, fine. Let's find a lasting solution to this. I've been thinking, hmm? I suggest that you two come up with a business you want Richard to establish for you so that you don't keep depending on him for money. Shut up. Emily, close your mouth. Why do we need to work when we have Richard as our well? elo? He's rich, so why do we need to work? Tell me why. Do you see this girl and you're so selfish? 
You are so selfish and wicked. So this is how you want to pay me back. After I walked your way through, did you know Richard before? Did you ever know that someone like him exists in this world? I am the one that walked it. I'm the one that has all this thing. You don't, do you know what I went through? Eh? To get to know about Richard. And I pushed you into greatness. You are here telling me rubbish. So, 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 mumwa, 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 me, me, will collect a, a, a one-time set, settlement and walk away. Then you will sit down there and be, and be forming big man's wife. Really? So me now, you want to discard me just like that and take everything. It will not work for you because I have seen you. You are very greedy. Akiro go go go. Akiro go go go. Akiro go go go. And that greediness will kill you. Listen, Emily, just stick to the plan for your own good. That's all. Just stick to the plan. I've said my own. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. And off here. I just broke. Hmm? Yes. What? Uh, what? Hospital. Ah, okay. Where is it? Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Ah! 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 Hurry! Sorry. Sorry. Where is it? <laughs> please, My have your seat. Tonero! Mama, please sit down. You're welcome. It seems your wife does not want us to sit too. No, no, that, that's not true. Mm. She's just um, not happy that you are coming now. She expected you probably to come to the hospital. <laughs> Didn't you tell her I traveled to the village <laughs> to secure the land their late father left behind? Oh, I, I told her. I told her. <laughs> so, where's my grandchild? Ah, he's resting upstairs. Oh. <laughs> Is he? He was sleeping. I said, let's just leave him there. Oh. There will be enough time for. Tonero! Tonero! Come on, I beg, leave me, I beg. Ah, uh, uh, no, they vex now. I don't understand her now. She just go mount roadblock like Simono enter. I don't know. Why? I'll be coming down now. You do the vex. No, I don't be saying at the vex. At the point, I felt she was acting under your instruction. Uh, how can I give her such an instruction to stop my in law? It's not possible now. Mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I wanted to ask, so what did you name the baby? Junior. That's his name. <laughs> That's name. Yes. Junior. Yes. Why? Why you seem to have problem with the name? 
Yes, I do because it's like it's like an ordinary name. Like you know, there is more to a name. Okay, let's say um, you are the father. Uh, what would you name him? Tony. Sorry, what did you say? Okay, I say you are the father. Let's say you are the father. What would oh. you name him? N nice names like Ferdinand, Marcos, you know, name that will make the baby feel like a boy. Why are you naming the baby Junior? <laughs> Actually, the name is Richard. Yes, so um, you can call him Richard if you don't feel comfortable calling him Junior. That's junior Richard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Junior Richard. <laughs> why, but why would you name the baby Richard when you're not even the biological father? Tony. Tony, what is your problem? Huh? What? I'm just stating the obvious here now. What if the, the real father just pops up one day? How? But the real father is dead. Mm -hmm. Dead. Dead. Dead and gone. Mm -hmm. And dead men do not come back, do they? Even drink here, Mama. And there's drink, a lot of it in the kitchen. Now, Let me help just, just check the freeze. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's going through a whole lot of mental stress. He just has a very strong body. Wow. But tell me, the person is going through. You feel for him. Wow. So you take the baby and the at home. <laughs> we are not. We are not bad family. We are very good family. Uh, no, the example is here, yeah, and is. Uh... Of course, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. What? Don't hey, talk to him now. Don't talk to him. I don't have anything to say. Come on, don't talk to him, please. Well, be all right. What's the problem? Why are you acting so foolishly? I can't believe you allow him to name our child after himself. It's ridiculous. Wait, is that what you're worried about now? Why should that be? I'm his father. Shh. His biological father. Shh. We share the same DNA. If there should be a junior in that name, it should be Tony Junior, not Richard Junior. Tell me what is even Richard Junior. Can what? you even hear yourself speak? Sometimes I wonder if you would reason with your brain or your butt. Oh, wow. You don't want your son to bear his name, but you have shifted your responsibilities to the same man. I don't care. I don't care. So this is a game, and both of us, we are in this together. Oh, please. What, what do you mean both of us are in this together? You and your conniving mother forced me into this. I never wanted to do this. And of all the ridiculous lies we have told, of all the ways that we have manipulated this poor man, the only thing you're worried about now is a baby's name. Make it make sense. Well, hey, so my in law, yeah. how is my grandchild? <laughs> the baby can sleep for Africa. Yeah. He's just there in the room, very peaceful baby. Hey, I'm so happy for you, my in law. Thank you. I can see that the arrival of this baby has brought additional joy to your life. Ah, uh, I am, I am, I am, <laughs> I am moving well. Oh, um, he. He is my world right now. Child. It's true what they say about babies being a gift to the world. Mm. He's become everything to me. Ah. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Thank you. I'm so happy Thank for you. You're you a good man. Mm. And please, I want to once again apologize for what Tony said. Please. He went completely overboard. Don't allow it to affect your happiness. I Please have moved love. past that conversation. I mean, um, it's... <laughs> you know, for the fact that I just give birth and still look this sexy... Hey! You're the sexiest mom ever. Stop. Come to the house. What Let's is have fun. You know what I'm saying? Are you mad? Can you move away? Are you okay? Is something wrong with your brain? You need to have your brain checked. 
No, it's crazy to think that anything will happen between us. It is over. Stay away from me or I will just break this your head. Fool. I am super excited and there's mm. no room for any form of grudge. Chai. Not even one. Hey, <laughs> you're a good man. Thank you. Man. You know, Tony can be funny at, at times. He, 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 he can be impulsive and talks without even thinking. Please don't be offended though. Please, no, 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 I'm still saying it all. No, no, no. Just try and get used to him. <laughs> Do you understand me? Because we are one family already. It's true, it's true. Mm -hmm. the, the thing is, um, Emily and I, we have made our decision. Mm -hmm. We are super excited about the future. There is nothing Tony will say now that will make any difference. So it's it's um, <laughs> especially as he is my in-law. Ah, yeah, there's no problem. You are a good man. Thank you. I keep saying it. You are a good man. In fact, you are not just my in-law. You are my son. <laughs> yes. yes because you, 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 you have so much understanding. Mm. You've shown so much strength and maturity to this whole thing. Ah, <laughs> I am convinced that you will be a good and loving father to my grandchild. <laughs> irrespective of biology. Uh, yeah. Is he the... Um... This is one opportunity I've been looking for hmm. to be a father. And uh, biology or not, I'm going to be there to give Junior the life, the best life he ever hmm. wished for. It, it is my dream. Hmm. I can see. <laughs> yes. Not only Junior will have a good life, even <laughs> us, even me, the grandmother. Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. I will also have a good life. <laughs> 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 hey! Yes. Sir. Well done. Oh. Yes, so, how is the work now? Um, is there a problem? Emily? What happened? Tony, how could you be so foolish? Huh? How can you open your mouth and say such a thing in, 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 in Richard's house? Do you know what the kind of problem that would have caused in that family? Mama, I didn't mean it that way now. The thing just slipped from my mouth now. It just slipped out. Ah, you know how I can be now. There is no excuse though. We've worked too hard to maintain this facade. You want to spoil everything with your thoughtless uh, uh, statement. Huh? What's your problem? I didn't think of the consequences in the heat of the moment. But, but look at Richard now. How will Richard name my son after him? Oh, shut How? up. Son. Look at you. You're not beginning to feel like a father. If they had given you that baby, can you maintain him? Can you maintain him? You can't even maintain yourself. Not to talk of maintaining a, 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 new, a newborn baby. Okay. Since you now want your baby, let me call Richard. Let me call him and tell him the truth. Ah, Mama Yusuf, calm down now. It's not going to happen again. Sorry. Ah! We have a gold mind in front of us. Instead of you to calm down and enjoy, you want to ruin everything with your, with, with, with your dirty mouth. Better be careful, though. Be careful.
So, Emily? Yeah. Our demands. And everything here must be met. One car each, an electronic store for him, a fancy restaurant for her, a monthly allowance of 300,000 naira. Bam. Mm. I, 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 is, <laughs> is this a joke? What is this? Wait, why, why, why should he give you 300,000 naira every month when you want him to establish your businesses for you? Hey! <laughs> Hey, Linda! Linda, you have suffered. Linda, you have suffered. Eh? Emily, is this you? Eh? Is it me you're running your mouth for? Or someone else? Really? Because you're now married to a rich man. You're now feeling like a big woman. Okay? I can see you have grown wings. You, have, you now have guts to challenge us. But let me warn you. Let me warn you. It will cost me nothing. You don't need to be reminded. You know who I am. It will cost me nothing to clip those wings of yours. So be careful. Don't just chop on it and even break those legs. What's your problem? Uh -uh. See, let me tell you something. I'm the reason why you're here. And even this child you're using to form everything that is giving you luxury, it's my child too. So listen. Do your own deal. Hmm? Keep to your own deal and stop questioning us. I am not questioning you. I'm only concerned about Richard being able to meet up with this ridiculous demand. Oh, oh, oh. My demand is now ridiculous. Eh? When I paved the way for you to come and take over, it wasn't ridiculous. Now that I'm making a little, little, little demand, you're not speaking big, 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 big grammar uh, uh, for me. Eh? Who are you deceiving? Who does not know that your husband is very rich? If not the richest in this vicinity. Yes. So this thing, this, this, this little list will cost him change or even nothing. What we have done for you guys is even, is even, what is it to, can you compare what we have done to you guys to what we are demanding? Oh. What's your problem? See, just keep to your own deal or else. I'm going to take that thing that gives you guys joy in this house. And you know, of course, my baby. Um, <clears throat> well, uh, it's fine. Um, I will talk to him. Mm -hmm. Not just talking to him. No, 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 no. no. Not just to ensure he meets these demands. Emily, you are a woman now. Eh? You are a woman. You should know how to win a man's heart. Eh, eh. Were you not the one that came here with full pregnancy? And you were able to win his heart. You were able to win his love. He fell in love with you. And now you are his wife. The same way I want you to convince him to get these things ready. Fact, I'm expecting double. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm expecting double. Let me just tell you, he must provide all these, all these things. Though. It will cost him nothing to provide it. If you have forgotten all the skills, if you have forgotten the way I taught you, I still have them off my sleeves. I can still teach you. I feel mm? you. The older the wine. <laughs> the sweeter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, understand? Fine. Um, I'll ensure that he meets your demands. Good. So, how is my son? <laughs> That's even true. Ensure you take care of that baby very well. Though. You know he's the reason why all these things are possible. Of course I do. <laughs> we are enjoying big mansion. <laughs> Take care of my grandchild. If you want this enjoyment to continue. <laughs> so we have to leave oh. There's no cola for us. We don't even need it. As usual. Just provide what is on that list. And, you, and we are good. And you will also be good. Tony. I'll see you my love. Oh, yeah.
sorry. I will look into it. What? You're not angry? Why should I be angry? <laughs> Come on. They're part of my family now. Their responsibilities are mine now. Hmm? My God, Richard. Who are you? You're such a good man. <laughs> Thank you. I don't deserve this. I don't deserve you. I don't deserve anything that you're doing. It's okay. You're such a kind man. You have no idea what you did for me. Or should I say what you are doing for me? You took away my shame. And you brought joy into my life. And I'm grateful for that. Thank you. Eat your food. Wait. Is that why you haven't touched your food? I was worried. Worried ab about this? <laughs> Come on. Eat your food. It's okay. Thank um, you. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for taking care of me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for everything. And um, I'm happy I could bring joy to your life because you deserve all the happiness in the world. Thank you. And I love you. I love you even more. Eat your food. You know you're going to need your strength for the man upstairs. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for everything you've been doing for me. Thank you for looking out for me and my family. Thank you so much for loving me. Thank you. And you know I love you more. And I'm I'm happy I was able to bring joy into your life because, Richard, you deserve all the happiness in the world because you're a good man. Thank you. I'll eat your food. agreed to meet your demands. He also said that you can go ahead and look for any house of your choice so you can start the purchase. <laughs> uh -huh. Is that all? Eh? Is that all why you are excited? Can't you how you're jumping up and down like a child that just received a pack of uh, 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 candy? Uh -uh. What? Eh? Those people that their in-laws buy private jet for. Are they not human beings? Do they how many heads do they have? Do. Just just little things. You, 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 you are opening your teeth anyhow. We made a demand to your husband, who is also our client. Yes, and he fulfilled it. And you are not happy. Emily, shame me, they catch you. Even your shame, they shame himself. <laughs> well, I only came to convey his message to you. And as for the electronic store that you asked for. He has also agreed to set that up, but he is suggesting that you go and learn the business so you can understand it better. I should go and learn the business <laughs> so I can understand it better. Are you seeing this girl? Hmm? I should go and learn the business. So he wants me to go and do boy boy. Eh? I should go and do boy boy before I do the business. This, ma ma mama, I will do something. What an insult. So when your husband said that, what did you reply him? I agree with him. It's not a bad idea at all. You're a useless all. person. You are, you are a useless person. You point out your gutter and say you agree with you. You are a useless person. How did we get By there? trekking. That is how we get there. So you open your mouth and agree with your husband that me, I should go and do what, boy? Mama, see, if this man doesn't provide this thing for me, I'll cause trouble. Eh, hey, 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 don't do anything, no. Let's have him fulfill the one he has promised. Eh? Don't start anything. Look, we are together in this thing. No matter how fast Emily think she is, she cannot be faster than her shadow. We are your shadows and we are watching you. See, I have said my own. Your husband should provide me that shop ASAP or we'll have issues. Mama, tell her. We'll have issues. Tell her. I've said my own.
That was fast. No, I... I couldn't eat it. Why? It was tasteless and half done. Uh, I'm so sorry. You don't need to be, I understand. Doing all the house chores and everything, it's not easy. But it's my duty. You need help. We need help around here. So what do we do? I don't know. We just have to get help as soon as possible. You can't be doing all the house chores. Okay. Um, we can contact these agencies that send leads to homes. Even though I'll, I would have preferred your sister coming or your mom. My mom can't come. And my sister, she's doing her masters and also working at the same time. What about your mother? Hmm? Let your mother come. Uh, my mom, why? Why not? She lives on she lives in the same city with us. It won't be a problem. I, I don't want us to bring her here. <laughs> why not? Why why I mean I'm more comfortable with someone who is who I know is a related to you and can take care of a baby especially. Please, it's just getting need. No. Please. Your mom will move in with us. Okay? Okay. Level has changed. Let me sit well. Emily. Emily. Ah. Uh -uh. What? Can't you hear that your baby is crying? Please, okay, um, let me quickly check on him. Can you help me check on my food? Check on your food? As what? As what? Your cook? I cannot multitask. Just help me check on my food while I check on my boy. Please. That is because you're very lazy. You're very lazy. When I was at your age, I'll be pregnant, back baby. Then I'll be doing other things. Ah! Focus on one. When you finish one, then you do the other. Don't disturb me, oh. I have come to relax. Yeah. Uh -huh. That reminds me. I see this, this wine. This wine is finished, you know. So buy another one for me, oh. is good. Life is good. Mm. Mm. Aren't you joining us for dinner? Um, I'll rather eat here later. Why? Is there something I should know? Something like what? Oh no. First you never wanted her here, if not that I insisted, and now you don't want to be in the same room with her. Um you're just overthinking things. I am overthinking things. See, babe. <laughs> Junior needs us, as well as other members of the family. We have to stay together. We have to let him experience the bond as a family. 
no matter how crazy you think they are, we must learn to tolerate each other. Um, I really don't see the relevance of a sermon. Like I said, you're just overthinking things. It's just in your head. Okay, I don't know what the issue is, or whatever it is. Sort it out. Do not forget, she is your mother. This one life I have, this one, only one life I have, I must enjoy it to the fullest. Ah! Toto, to, 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 hey. If you see the kind of food your mother is eating, if you see the kind of meat, chicken, talk, anything I want, I eat it the way I like it, when I like it, and how I like it. <laughs> Mama, I'm just here. I didn't manage the one where I see job. Ah, uh -uh. what do you mean by what you see? I thought uh, Richard sent you fifty thousand naira three days ago. Fifty thousand. <laughs> My work at fifty thousand. I just managed that one now. But I've sent him a text so that I need more money. He has not replied. I don't know what he's doing. That is not a problem. It's nothing to him. That my in-law is very, very good. He's a good man. I'm sure he's busy. That's why he has, he has not responded. But I'm certain, certainly, he will do the need for. Does he have a choice with everything we are doing for him? He doesn't have a choice. Hmm. When I when, why don't you visit soon? Eh, I'll try and come. Now that's after he sends me that money. But I don't want one small girl now to just start insulting me. I beg. I don't want to insult her. Beg, Mama. Maybe in Lena beg. Ah, talk to you anyhow when she's not mad. When she's not mad, if she try it, eh, she will collect. She will collect water, water. I beg. Leave that, leave her, leave her, leave her alone. Let's, let's enjoy this, our gist. Eh? She won't try it. Mama, the mama. Is she there with you? No, she went to the market. Uh -uh. And where's the baby? No, she went with the baby now. <laughs> Are you not supposed to be taking care of the baby? As what? As nanny. Look, 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 look. Mm -mm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not ready for that. Oh. I'm here to rest. I'm here to enjoy. This is like a vacation to me. Oh. The only thing I do is to eat, sleep, wake up, watch TV. As I'm talking to you, I'm even crossing my leg. Cross my leg, watch TV, enjoy whatever I like. Hmm? Internet. We are swimming in the ocean of internet in this household. Oh. Hmm. All those ones you buy data, by the way, we know they buy them here. Anything you want to see, you want to see America. You just, you just bam, 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 and you are seeing the whole world. <laughs> Mama, Richard will be angry with you. Now, this is not the reason why you are there now. You are there to support Emily now. Are you, you know now? Angry with me? When he's not high on, on cheap weed. <laughs> you can't try that one. <laughs> Mama, you and violence, five and six, two of you, eh? Nothing. No, 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 no. It's not as if I, I like Valento. It's just that I hate what I don't like. Whatever you want, if you want peace, you will get peace. In abundance. But if you want violence, you will collect water, water, any day, any time. No time, oh. Mm. Eh. Why don't you visit now, Tony? Eh? Come, let's enjoy this thing together. There's too much to throw around. There's too much. Well, I said I will come. But first, he has to send me that money first. I don't want, I don't want to just bop up like that. No, me send me money first, then I go show. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to hear. Come. Yeah? Ah, no problem, huh? Take care of yourself now. Of course I am. You too. Take care of yourself, huh? All right. Bye, son. Enjoy him. <laughs> do, 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 my son. <sighs> a 
Emily, please come back home. Let me tell you what I want to eat. Can, can I have a word? Are you okay? Um, no. I want you to help me talk to my mom. She has overstayed her welcome. She needs to leave. Your mom? She has been so much but I don't see why she should. I mean, her being here has been so tremendous. Her support and everything. We, you should appreciate her. I appreciate all that she has been doing. But she needs to leave. I need some time alone with you and our baby. I understand that you're a bit stressed. But taking care of a newborn can be stressful. And that's where the mom comes in. She's been awesome. She's been helping you relieve this stress. You don't understand. I need my privacy. She has been here. She needs to leave. I can take care of the baby. I want some time alone. I need my privacy. And she's just all over my face. Calm down, okay? It's about the baby. She's more experienced. Yes, taking care of a newborn can be challenging. She's helping you. Our alone time will come. But for now, let's, let's, let's take care of the baby. And she's doing, she's doing amazing. This is not fair. I thought we were a team. Yes, we are a team. But as a team, we must compromise. We must make sacrifices. Please, you need to, you need to understand that she's here for our good. Oh, God. I am overwhelmed. I just want to spend time with you and the baby. I'm asking for too no, much. you're not. But just give it a little time, please. <gasps> please. Sorry, I know sometimes it can be distressful. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My Lord, I can see you will enjoy the meal. Ah. I'm sure you haven't tested this kind of delicious meal. Oh well, <laughs> ah, no, no, no. this is definitely something. This is what I call um, art in my stomach. Oh. <laughs> but, seriously, but again, my wife knows how to cook. Yeah, trust me, she is actually a good cook. Look, I am the one that taught her everything she knows. Mm. Trust me, she learned from the best. No, 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 no. I'm thinking that you taught her everything she knows, but then you didn't teach her everything you know. Yeah. <laughs> Apologies <laughs> to you, my darling. But you know that if, if I wasn't married, I would have just, you know, gone on my knees and proposed to you. Hey, <laughs> me. You want to propose to my mother-in-law because of food? <laughs> See this one, no? See, my status will just change from your friend to your father-in-law. <laughs> Ah, ah, this your friend is okay. Funny. He is sick. <laughs> this your friend is very funny. No, he, he's ah. not serious, <laughs> babe. You haven't said a word. Are you okay? I have nothing to say. <laughs> She's fine. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll do it. Hey! Toto, Toto! Nero, Nero. Eh? 
Oh, I'm okay. I thought if you are not going to make it. I'm going to miss your food for you. Eh? Oh, All right, you're welcome. Hmm. <laughs> you're welcome now. Oh dear. You know, I think your brother is just so funny. We should do moments like this more often. Babe, are you okay? All right, I noticed the tension between you and your mother again. And when your brother came in, it was the same thing. I don't know the issue you're having with them, but you need to sort it. And as your husband, I deserve to know. But again, you have the right to when you want to tell me about it. I'll be here. So your brother will be staying with us for the meantime. <laughs> Did you just say that to get my attention or you're just joking? Oh, no, I have your attention, but um, I'm serious. He'll be staying with us. No, you're not. No, I am. What is wrong with you, Richard? Why are you always doing this? Why? How would you make decisions that will affect our lives without running by me first? I, I don't understand. I, th this is your brother. So I, I thought... I wanted to make it a surprise. I, I didn't know it would upset you. Of course it will. First, my mom dropped by. Well, that's my consent. And now my brother. Why are you doing this? I thought we were 18. We are supposed to discuss it together as a family. I'm sorry I didn't run it by you. I, I was just thinking I'm doing something good for your family. And you know, considering the fact that he's starting a business, and I, I just feel staying here would help him a lot. I, I don't know why it's... You don't know what you're doing. You clearly don't know what you're doing. And I'm not comfortable with it. Of course, it will not be okay with me. I need my privacy. I need it. And I don't expect you to understand. Can, can, can you calm down, Dr. Baby? I, I need space right now. I hope you understand. Yo, uh... Please, can you, may you? Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mommy is not angry, it's just, um, I don't know, it's getting worked up for, I don't know, and she'll be fine. What are you doing? What's your problem? We have an unfinished business now. What's up? What unfinished business are you talking about? I am married, okay? <laughs> you are married. Married to who? Richard. Your marriage to Richard is a fake one. You know that. So please, calm down. You belong to me. You're supposed to fulfill my desire. Well, not anymore. I do not belong to you. I have a husband now. And I love him. And he loves me. I will never cheat on him. Not for any reason. Love. Do you understand the meaning of love? Do you love Richard? Does Richard love you? You are in this because of our baby. Listen, let's see if Richard loves you no, after I take the baby no, out of this no. house. Tony, 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 please, no, Tony. What is wrong with your brother? 
How many times have I warned him to stay off that girl? Out of 10 of every guy in this street have tested that girl. And he's... What exactly is wrong with him? Please calm down, okay? Don't get yourself worked up over nothing. I will not calm down because this is embarrassing. Do you know what it means when people start pointing at me and, and, and talking rubbish? A girl I never imagined in my life that I would be mentioned in the same breath with her. What kind of thing is this? Calm down, please. I know how embarrassing this can be for you. But what can you do really? Unfortunately, nothing. They are both adults. And it's high time he started acting like one. No wonder you never wanted him around here. He's such a randy and irresponsible guy. When your mother comes back, I'll bring up this issue and you should better talk to him too. Me? Of course, yes, you should talk to him. Please, 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 no. Don't get me involved at all. Please, I beg. It's all right. I'll, I'll handle it myself and I'll handle it my way. What kind of rubbish is this? Eh? After everything I told him about that girl, he, he, he went ahead and, and brought the girl into my home. Well, what kind of rubbish is this? I've had enough of this, your dirty behavior. What is wrong with you? And to think that we had this conversation three days ago. I said I am sorry now. Can we get past this I already? will not get past it. Okay? I will not. Because your continued staying in this house will rob everyone of their reputation. Now you will go in there and pack your things and get out of my house. When you get back to your house, you can behave however you want. I get it. You are jealous. That is just it. Are you, are you, is, is some, are you insane? What possibly do you have that I can be jealous about? You are trying to bring up unrelated issues. This is about respect. Respect for me, respect for my home, and respect for my family. Oh, Richard, respect. You are a sucker for real, Richard. Listen, I know your dirty secret. You can't deceive me. You can deceive everyone but not me. And I'm going to go out there and tell everyone and anyone that cares to listen and ruin your reputation. What is it? You know what? Let us say, go in there, pack your things and get out of my house, you ingrate. <laughs> me, ingrate? Yes, you are. <laughs> if only you knew what I have done for your life. And this family, you will worship the ground I step on. What have you done for me? Because I can't see any. You're, you're just like a parasite who feeds on its host and still infects the host. Pack your things. Every single thing that belongs to you and leave my house. Everything. Every damn thing. If I as much as find anything that belongs to you, I'll burn it. Everything. I will see how miserable you will look when I take everything that belongs to me out of this house. I will leave you. But if I come back, like I've said, and I see as much as a strand of your hair, I will burn it and send you the picture. We'll see how it turns out to be now. No, no, please, please, please don't. I beg you, please, just leave the baby out of this, okay? This child is innocent in all of this. You don't have to drag him to this. He doesn't have to suffer for our own mistakes. Please, don't take this child. You know you don't have any plan for him. <laughs> Did you hear what your husband said to me? That you go upstairs and take everything that belongs to me. Everything. And guess what? That baby belongs to me. I'm taking everything that belongs to me in this house. No, so no, get no, out. no, Tony, Tony. I beg you with everything that you stand. Please don't take this child. You can always have another baby with another woman. Please. You, you don't have to do this. Richard and I have built a life together. We have built a beautiful family. And you know Richard is more than capable to give this child a better life. Something that you may never do. If you take this child, you're going to tear us apart. Please, <laughs> I beg you. I'm not going to tear you guys apart. No. I'm going to ruin you guys permanently. What? And I'll start by taking our baby. That is all. I don't care about all these things you are saying. Just get out of me. Since you are hell bent on keeping this baby, I have offers. I have demand that I'm going to lay to you that I want you to respond to. What do you want? 20 million. Come on. That's a lot of money. Where am I supposed to get that from? Your husband is rich. Ask your husband for the money. See, I give you three. Three days. I'm not bluffing. Tony, please be reasonable. Tony. Tony.
this is it, my man. I cannot take this again. It's how time I go out there and expose that man. Expose him. Tell the world what is important. <laughs> and to what end would that be? Eh? If you do that, we would rather lose than gain him. If anything goes the other way, right. just be careful. I don't care. I don't care if things go west or south. I don't care anymore. Mm -hmm. yes. Then the effort we put in so far will be a waste, a waste of time. So, I take my child, is that simple? Yeah, take my child, is that simple? Look, it's not as simple as you think, oh. You can't even feed yourself. You talk of feeding a baby, the mother, and your own mother. Eh? I told you to do anything, but don't get caught. But you wouldn't listen. Always losing guards. Let me understand something, Mama. Which side are you on? Which side? On the side where money is coming from. I told you to, be to focus on the business at hand, but you're always getting distracted by petty, petty things. <laughs> like you were not distracted when you were living with them. But I wasn't caught. I was not caught. I was smart enough to do a clean job. Nobody caught me but you. You're always distracted. And where was Emily when all these things were happening? She was upstairs at the corridor. She saw all the madness. That girl, that girl is really surprising me. I uh, won't be surprised if she's the one that instigated all this because she never wanted us in that house. See, Mama, I don't care what she wants. I don't care about anything again. All I'm saying is, if she cannot meet up to her own end, I am going to expose them. I am going to sing. I will talk. I will shout. Ah, not sing anything, no. My own is she should just keep to her own deal. That's all. Today is day one. Two more days left. I need my money. Please. I can't raise that amount of money in two days. Give me more time, please. I beg you. I should give you more time. You're married to a multi-millionaire. Your husband is rich. Three days is enough for you to raise the lousy 20 millionaire. I've given you guys every reason to be happy. I gave you my son, our son, and that's something he never had. Now listen, I give you three days to send me my money or you'll bear the consequences. I, I never wanted to be a part of this scam. It was all your idea. I never wanted to be a part of it. And you dragging me into this is just unfair. But you're part of it already. You were forced into it, and yet you didn't want to leave. I would have left if it's not for my child. Our baby. Listen, don't forget, that baby is our baby. Oh, wow. All of a sudden now, it's your baby. But if I had committed an abortion, like you and your mother suggested, I'm sure we'll not be having this conversation. Thank God you didn't do it. Emily, listen. Three days, or my son, you choose. You will not take my child away from me.
Richard. Richard, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Richard. I didn't mean to hurt you. I never wanted to be a part of this, this, this scam. Tony and his mother threatened me. Believe me. I never wanted any of this. How could you be this wicked and manipulative? I don't understand it. What did I do to you? You came to me and you told me the father of your unborn child had an accident and died. I offered you a job. Married you. I fell in love with you. And, and only for me to find out that the person you introduced to me as your brother is actually the biological <laughs> father of your son. And you're telling me that you're sorry? I wanted to tell you. But, but you didn't. I wanted to so many times, remember? All the times I told you I wanted to tell you something important, that was it. But I, I couldn't. I was so scared after I heard what you said about how you hated manipulating people. That's exactly I what you did to me. I couldn't bring myself to tell you the truth because I was scared. I was scared you were going to throw me and our child away. Our child? Please don't say that again because his father is alive. He's not his father. Richard, Richard. You are his father. You have always been. You have always been a good father to him and a wonderful husband to me. I don't want anyone else to be called his father except you. I will not be called his father. Because I, I, I don't steal people's children. His father is alive. Please don't say that. This whole thing. This whole thing is a fraud. No. No. I love you. I love you. She talks about love. Regardless of what you heard today, I have always loved you. This, this marriage is not a fraud. This marriage is based on love and you know it. You know it, Richard. Deep inside you know this. This does not mean anything. This was part of your plan. This was what you concocted to continue exploiting me. Your Tony. And his mother gave you out on me in marriage for you to exploit me to your own advantage. And that's exactly what is playing out. And you call it love. How? How would you call this, this, this mess? I love, love you. You don't. You never did. This was all part of a plan. Part of your plan. I'm sorry. And there will be consequences. No. All of you, how wicked you are, heartless you <laughs> no. are going. No, I'm you sorry. You will be in jail. Please forgive me. There will be consequences. Forgive me. I there beg there you. There will be consequences. Please forgive me. Okay? At least for the sake of our child. <laughs> Do not. Do not bring that innocent child into this whole mess. The mess is yours and the rest of them. And all of you <laughs> who face the consequences. No. Don't. Don't. Please. Don't touch me before I commit murder. Don't no, touch me. Richard, Richard. Oh. Hey, Emily, Fina, I have to go now. I promise I will come back for two of you. But mom, why can't you take us? Can't we follow you? I wish you could, sweethearts, but you can't now, because it is my duty as your mother to pave way for the two of you to join me and have a better life. Don't worry, I will send for the two of you. I promise. Promise, mommy. Promise, my sweet little Fina. I have to go now. Oh, it's okay, I have to leave now. Come on, share up. It's okay. Okay, bye. All right. Can I, let me see you. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Let me know. No problem. <laughs> All right. Ah, okay, girls. Okay, you're done with the food. Thank you, Mama. Oh. 
thank God. Are you okay? Okay, you're going to drop the plates. Yes, ma'am. Hold on, please, sir. Wait, wait, Emily. Whenever you finish eating, always make sure the place is neat, okay? okay. All right, go in and wash your hands. Ah. Tony boy. Tony, how are you? Uh -uh. You're not happy the girls are here, isn't it? I've already made it left to you, Mom. I don't like them, and I'll never like them. Oh, stop it. Look, trust me. I know what I'm doing, and everything I'm doing is for you, for your own good. How? Okay. You know their mom traveled to Europe. I know. So? Okay. The so in it is that I am trying so hard to take good care of them. I'm giving them extra care because you know their mom is keen on coming to take them along with her so that when she eventually comes to take them, she will also take you along with them. Or don't you want to go to Europe? Okay, mom. I understand it now. Good. You see, Everything I'm doing is for your own good because I also want you to have a better life. Are you happy now? Now. That's my boy. <laughs> so relax, eh? Hmm. No wonder your mom did not allow us to see her off. She had plans of going to Europe by road. Can you imagine? Now look at the Mediterranean Sea has swallowed her. To think I've been slaving myself for that stupid, that stupid person. Senseless person. Why are you looking at me like that? Yes, your mother is stupid. She just wanted us to have a better life. And she ended up in the sea, leaving two rascals for me. Don't worry, I know what to do. No sense. You'll be okay. That's my boy, that's my boy. Give mommy a smile. What is it? Which school? Which school? Oh, oh, oh. So after your unfortunate mother ended up under the sea, you think I'll be the one to, 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 to be paying your bills? You must be sick. My friend, will you go inside and take off those uniforms? You promised my mother that I treat us like your own kids. And then are you my kids? Do I look like your mother? Eh? Do I look like your mother? My friend, will you go inside and take off your, those school uniforms? I'm not going to school. You're not going to school again. I forget out of my face. Take off those uniforms. If you see your mother, you will not recognize her. You're happy. <laughs> my great son is now going to be the only one in school. You're happy, right? Let's go. Let me take you to school. Why are you girls looking like this? How much did you make? This is all the money we made. One thousand, two thousand, two, two thousand four. Since morning. Yes, what is all we made, ma? Are you saying that many people in the market didn't need the service of a carrier? Ma, some people thought we were young, so they couldn't give us their load to carry. Why will you shut up your mouth? Who told you you're young? You're young, but you eat big food. All the food you're eating in this house, do you eat like a young person? Huh? You people are joking with, come here, let me search you. Come here. I think you can joke with me. Move. You come. You even have zip. You even have zip. I'm going to tear all this your, your, your zip.
What is this? I, I will slap you. I'm not joking with you. What is this? You stole my money. Eh, Fina? You stole my money. So after all I'm doing for you people, you, are not, you people are not appreciating what I'm doing. You have the nerve to steal my money. For this 500 naira you stole from my money, eh? You will not eat for five days. Both of you will not eat for five days. Nonsense. Come on, get out of my face. Thieves. Can you imagine? I'm telling you, just like their mother, they think they can, they can, they, 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 they can, they can try me. It is me and them in this house. So Stupid children. They came back with only two thousand nine hundred. Just imagine. Just imagine. Okay, mom. You promised me a running shoe. Oh, because you now see this little change. You now remember I promised you new shoe, eh? Yes, mom. You re you see you see this little change. You remember I promised you new shoe. Yes, mom. Anyway, there's no problem. You know, you know you're my son, my pride. See, you get your new shoe. Let these rascals. Let's see whether they can raise more money by this weekend. You get you not just get a new shoe. You get a new jeans trouser and a school bag to match. They're the best mom in the world. I know. You just don't like showing off. You know, your mom is a one humble woman. I know not to hide any money. See where it has landed us. But come to not keep some money for ourselves. I understand. But see where it has landed us. I'm hungry. I'm not sure they'll give us food to eat tonight. Why? Because of what you did. But I'm hungry. I think that our mom is watching over us, so everything will be okay. Vic. Emily, you can't live like this anymore. We have to leave. She, if she finds us, she will skin us alive. And also, where will we run to? I can't live like this anymore. This shall pass, Fina. Everything will be alright. I'm not sure. Okay, first thing tomorrow morning, when we go to the market, the first money we make, we use you to buy food to eat, okay? Fina, 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 Fina. She told you all of this and you never bothered to tell me. Eh? She told me while we were sleeping. And I advised her against it. You see? It is clear she never took your advice. That stupid girl. She just reduced my stream of income. Anyway, I will try my best and look for her. And if I don't see her, that is your problem and not mine. And if you choose to act like her, eh? That's and and and, and you get into trouble, of course. Something bad will happen to you. That's your cross, not, not mine. After all, nobody cares whether you're alive or not. We need to look for her. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Who are you to tell me what to do? Who are you to tell me what to do? And you, as from today, you don't cross that door. Are you hearing me? You don't step out of this house. Because I think the, the too much freedom you, I, I gave you people in this house makes you feel you understand the terrain. Ingrates. Inside the room. Inside the room. <laughs> You're infertile. Now you know. Ah, hey God. Richard, we've been friends since childhood, and now I'm your lawyer, and you just deem it fit to let me know. 
Wait, so if not for the recent event, I wouldn't have known. You are my doctor. You are not my doctor. You are my lawyer. So what difference would it make? A lot of difference, Richard. And please stop sounding like an illiterate here. Come on now. I manage your estate and your business in interest and you think I shouldn't have access to, uh, to such sensitive information. Okay, now you know. Can we move past it? <sighs> so, any luck finding her yet? None. All her numbers are switched off. Have you tried reaching the rest of her family? You mean her partners in crime? I'm not ready to have any conversation with those people except I'm making an arrest. Oh. But do you believe she was coerced into doing all that? Yes, I, I do. Judging from the conversation she was having with Tony in the kitchen, I do. Do you love her? What? Just answer the question. I know. Yes, I don't I don't know. I think I love her. Which is it? Yes or no, Richard? I love her. Hmm. Nice. So now that you've established that you do love her, my advice to you as a friend is to don't arrest or prosecute that family. Trust me, it will drag Emily into it and I know you don't want that because that baby would suffer and that will break you if that happens. That baby... She mean... That baby... He means the world to me. You, you see it. You see the joy I feel whenever I hold him in my arms. It, it's everything beautiful. I don't know. I, I just can't get past the deceit. It's something... Look, I understand, okay? I understand. But first, let's go out and look for the mother of the baby. Because trust me, if anything bad happens to them, it will break you down. I don't know. Okay, so where, where, where do we start? You know where. See, I don't care what you guys are doing. I don't even understand what people are doing here. My own is, where is my son, Richard? Where is him? Your son. Yes. After all this while, <laughs> he's now your son. Where were you? No, where were you all this time? Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, I forgot. You were busy playing brother-in-law. Well, you choose to believe that one. And that's your problem. It's not my problem. Look. It will be your problem if this case is being reported as a criminal case, oh. okay? Trust me, Richard has every resources to put everyone behind bars. But we are not considering that option yet. But with this attitude of yours, trust me, you leave us with no choice. <laughs> brother, lawyer, please. Brother, please. Brother, Pico, please. Yeah, please, I'm sure we can resolve this amicably. Well, that's up to you and your son. Um, please, we are not troublesome people, no. Yeah, we, 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 don't, we don't have problem. We are a very peaceful family. Forget this uh, temptation. It's just temptation. Because, you know, you know, poverty is too, is too much. That's why we are, we are just looking for how to hustle. And we didn't know it will, it will be like this. Eh? Uh, you see, what happened is that eh, let us settle this thing peacefully so that everybody will find the, the, their peace. You uh, hear? Uh, yeah? Please. Please. We don't want any problem. Mama. We, we, we made a mistake and we already accepted. Mama, we are not accepting anything. We are not accepting it. Did we force him to believe what we are telling him? Did we force you? Richard, did we force you? I, I was all this problem. We did not force him now, eh? Did we force him? You better get your lawyers ready because you are filing for, for a criminal case for everyone involved in this case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where are you going to? Huh? In 
Milo, it's me. Eh? What kind of temptation is this? Brother lawyer, have you forgotten me? Hmm? Please, people should not do like this. Eh? Please, we can resolve this, like I, as I keep saying. We can resolve it. Is this one big happy family? Well, let's not allow the devil to come and put us under. No? And you, you better be careful. If you want to go to prison, me, I don't want to go to prison, no. I don't want to go to prison. See this my, see this my skin. It's not good for prison, no. My relax, is this one that put us in prison? You better shut up your mouth. See. I don't know what is going on. I hope. I hope nothing bad has happened to her. I hope she has not hurt herself nor the baby. Look, I need you to stay calm, okay? And I believe we're going to find her. But that hasn't happened yet. I just hope she hasn't hurt herself and my precious little boy. Precious little boy. <laughs> I see how much that precious little boy means to you. You have no idea. He means the whole world to me. No doubt I want to stay mad with Emily, but I cannot help it. This house is so empty without them. Not, not things seem to matter anymore. I totally understand you, but I still need you to be calm. We will find them. Okay? That's just the only hope that is keeping me going in this whole thing. When did I start providing for food in this house? Hmm. Ifeleme. Ifeleme. You don't have shame at all. How did that sound in your mouth? When did I start providing food at your age? You're asking me when did you start providing food in this house? I don't understand what you're saying. I don't understand. Where is all this talk coming from? Now? It is coming from your mother. Your mother who has been doing a lot of thinking and worrying about you. Your mother who has been condoning your excesses. Tony, let me tell you, I've had enough of you. I've had it up to here. Let me breathe. You're shocking me. Let me tell you from today. You see today, from today, is that you get a job and start providing for this family or you get out of my house? Look, I know I did a bad job in raising you up, but that is what I want to correct now. Are you hearing me? Is that that? Because I cannot, I cannot, I cannot watch you live like this. I cannot. See, Mama, because because of see, I just ask you for food. You are bringing all this plenty, plenty, plenty talk, eh? I have not even started. If I start talking to you, eh, you will feel like killing yourself. Don't even allow me to get to that level. Because see, this my mouth is sharp. It's sharper than two edged sword. If I open my mouth and talk to you, eh, you'll be sorry for your life. Mama. And I'm not going to start and I'm not going to stop talking until I see you get responsible in life. Mama, food or when I come back, it should be food in this house. So. Better. You better come back with positive results. Otherwise, I'm going to throw you out of this house. Look at you at your age. 
Your mates are already providing for their mother, taking care of your mother, uh, their, their mother. But here you are, being a burden to me. I provide virtually everything for you. I feed you, I clothe you, I buy soap, I buy cream, everything. Keep an eye on them, I will be there very soon. My friend told me that this is the third time he's coming to the orphanage to seek for an adoption. But unfortunately, no one fits into his request for now. Uh, why are you telling us this story? I don't understand. Must I think everything for you? Must I? Uh, I'm actually uh, not following you. I'm not following this just well. Then keep quiet. Let me talk. This man hmm? cannot father a child. Yes. And he is ashamed to make it public. Hmm. In fact, he needs any means available to have a child. Do you know the most interesting part? Mm -mm. His wife just divorced him. Who you? Very rich man. Stinkingly rich. But no wife. Now this is my plan. Mm -hmm. I want us to send Emily to go and be working for him. So I don't. So what will now happen if we send her? Like I don't understand. What do we do for me? Leave the rest for me. Oh. I'm not asking you. Mm -hmm. I'm only telling you. Mama, don't worry. <laughs> Emily, I'll send the address to you. So that was that was how I ended up at your gate. I never wanted to be a part of this. In fact, I refused at first. But those two, they have so much on me. They had so much on me and I couldn't say no. You could have told me. It broke me to find out the way I did. You... I'm sorry. Please forgive me. God knows I wanted to. So many times I wanted to come clean, but each time I tried, I I remember the way you reacted about if I needs to betray her, even after five years. I was scared. I didn't want to lose you. I, I didn't want you to throw us out. I'm so sorry. Ripple effect. So where do we go from here? Honestly, I don't know. But I have to find a way to call it truth, at least for the sake of the baby. Ah, well, I hope they will be open for a resolution. <laughs> don't worry, Sudan. I'm going to do everything I can just to make sure this family comes together again. It's okay.
A what? <laughs> Wait. They agreed? Of course they agreed. After the juicy offer I made to them. <laughs> they have no choice. Oh my god. <laughs> so, what next? Oh, well, I'm thinking that the right thing to do next is the paperwork. Yes. Let us finalize with the legal means so that they won't come back anytime soon by the owners. Very important. This is good news. <laughs> He is you. He is me. We are one. And no one can ever come in between us. No one. I love you. I love you more. <laughs>